Well, welcome to a very special play day. <laughs> it's like dentist, special. like the dentist's office. <laughs> I'm Chris Byrne. And I'm Laurie Lane. We're from TimeToPlayMag.com. And this is the play date. And if you could uh, guess by the very special music that Webman chose for us today, mm -hmm. this is our Valentine's Day segment. Yay! 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 You've got a week to get out That's and right. get those Valentine's Day things. Um, Gifts. Cards, whatever. Chocolates, nylons. Chocolates. Um, nylons. <laughs> oh, right. A little World War II reference there. <laughs> because of the last of the Andrews sisters just died. I know our audience really cares about that. Oh, Anyhow. World War what? <laughs> right. <laughs> Never mind. Valentine's Day. Do you celebrate? No. Yeah, me neither. I'm, I, well, um, after Valentine's Day, and we're having a special date going to a devil's hockey game. Yeah, devils. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, devils. That, well, that's kind of, that's oh kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, no, we're that's not a, doing that. We're, 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 we're doing that. Gang you know, this is the first year in, I don't remember when, that, that Valentine's Day has not fallen in the middle of the New York Toy Fair. That's right. Normally it does, and you get out of having to say. Right, you celebrate. don't have to do, you don't have to do anything. But, you know, I've always, I've always think of thought was a holiday for kids. You know, I don't mm -hmm. like holidays that can be a test of whether or not you, you know, I, I, I say I love you yeah. every day. So, <laughs> uh, I do. Um, so... Um, but we got some Valentine's, some great Valentine's Day stuff because yeah. you might as well have fun with it, right? That's right. So what do we got? Well, first we have some scratch and sniff Valentine's. So if your kids, they're having a Valentine's party at school, they want to <laughs> give some Valentine's, some unique Valentine's Day cards to their friends. There are eight different themes. We have three of them here and each comes with uh, scratch and sniff stickers that you place on the card. Those smell like grape. They it have does. They have on them. Grape it, hamsters. Your grape admirer. Uh -huh. That's really nice. Okay. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> and you, you scratch the snick, sticker That's snicker right. to smell grape. And it actually does smell. Yeah. And this one, uh, these it smells like a sports theme. And so it smells like cinnamon. You know, it smells because it's really sports, good. sports are sports and cin cinnamon. I, oh, I red always think hot. Of, I know. Red hot. That's cute. Well, red <laughs> hot's a big candy for Valentine's yeah, Day. Like this. Um, this is. This smells like like grape Kool Aid. Though. I like it the does grape it. one, and the the superheroes are bubble gum. They also have race cars that smell like burnt rubber. I'm not really sure. What do we um, scratch here? If I want to scratch and sniff oh, that, but yeah, it's on the front. So whoa, like, whoa! I know it really smells like bubble gum. That's intense. I know. That's intense. Good sense. Uh, how much are these? Each pack is about seven dollars, and they're for ages three and up. Cute. I know. Cute, because everybody does like. Valentine's Day yeah, in the you school. Have parties you have to do the Valentine's yeah, exactly. box. And I still all... send Valentine's to people just because it's fun. That's because you're a nice person. Oh. Okay. Okay. What's next? Next up is the Sweethearts Wooden Bead Set from Melissa and Doug. This is a, a kind of a craft activity you can do pretty much any time of the year, but because it has hearts on it and it's, you know, heart uh, red, pink, and white and purple, the colors and the, the theme just kind of lend itself to either giving as a Valentine's Day gift or a fun craft to do around Valentine's Day. You can make necklaces and bracelets. This is really cute. You can give them to people for Valentine's Day or keep them for yourself and wear them as special Valentine's Day jewelry. Be nice, it'd be a nice pre-Valentine's Day play date or, yes. you know, a play date yes. on Valentine's Day for yes. kids to, to make these things and to share them and give yeah. them to each other. So Really cute. Very easy to do as well. I like um, that. How much is that? It's about $10 and it's for ages four and up. Oh, nice. They're yeah. really, really, really cute. Okay. Yeah. So, I know. I know. I get to do this one. Yeah. Uh, this is this is the what is this called? This is Barbie. I love Valentine's! Exclamation point. I love Valentine's. Yeah, Barbie. Now you know every year they do a special Barbie yes, they do. for Valentine's Day, and she's really cute, and she comes in. What'd you do with the box? Oh, sorry, it's over there. You it's... destroyed the box. It comes in. Well, it comes in a box. <laughs> It comes with a box that can actually be used as a Valentine. So if yeah. you actually give it as a gift, because I know a lot of parents here. There come. we go. Oh, okay. it, does, it doesn't fly very well. It doesn't fly very. On the back, it does say to from. Right. Yeah, it says to it and from, and it's a it's a great little gift, and it's like a great thing for a parent to give to a you know yeah. little kid who likes because it is nice to get a little gift on Valentine's Day. Yeah. You know, I, I like the gift of an extra hour of sleep, but you know. <laughs> don't bother me. Don't, don't bother me, but. I but, love you. <laughs> 
<laughs> so it's Barbie I Love Valentine's. And yeah. she, you know, it's it's just it's just really, really cute. It's twelve ninety nine. Oh wait, she's even got this little Yeah, she comes with an extra little, hair accessory. A little hair accessory, which is a Barbie heart shaped yeah. barrette, which is adorable. <laughs> oh, webman, be still. I think this is cute. <laughs> It is cute. It is really cute, and she's got she's got these very I cool know. Barbie uh, Barbie sized pumps. Okay. Okay. Big time of year for stuffed, stuffed animals. animals. This one might be my favorite. It's uh, the Yuhu and Friends. It's Yuhu pink with heart, and they do make a lavender one. But it's you know very cute, and when you squeeze it, it makes smooching noises and it lights up. It's a lemur. <laughs> It's a lemur, right? As yes, a, it is. As in, it's a meerkat? No, it's a lemur, right? Yeah, it's a lemur. A lemur. Yeah. It's like so. So it's I like ha it. Happy Valentine's Day, lemur alone. Uh, oh. <laughs> He's so cute and like soft and cuddly. He's got like those big eyes, like those pictures from the '60s. It's like yeah, like it's like. Ugh. I like him. How much is he? He is fifteen dollars um, for ages three and up. Look, he likes Barbie yeah. too. Oh, Barbie. He likes Barbie. Bar Barbie likes lemurs. So. <laughs> Exclamation point. Exclamation point. Um, again, really cute. Yes. I don't know. Can you see Can you see the little light up? Can you see the light up on his heart? Okay, good. Okay, that's adorable. I know. Okay, definitely that's adorable. What's next? Okay, next is something called Until We Hug Again. It's from Hallmark, so it's available at Hallmark stores. Um, this is Speaking a little... of World War II, that sounds like some World <laughs> War II, you know, sappy movie until we hug again. It, they might make one for the Hallmark Channel. <laughs> right. You're just giving them an idea. Oh, actually, actually, okay. It's a little patchwork oh. bear, very cute. <laughs> Webman will not be tuning into that. No, no. The whole idea is that you press the record button on this guy's foot and you record a little message. So let's get ready. We have 30 seconds. Happy Valentine's Day! Happy Valentine's Day! So then you let go, and your message is now recorded. Oh, there's also a switch inside, because once your message is on here, you can either choose to lock it so that uh, it never gets erased until you unlock it, or you can just leave it unlocked, and then kids can, you know, record messages over it, whatever you want to do. But what's cool is that you hug the bear. And you hear the message, so it's a fun gift if you um, live away from a, a child, you know, a grandchild, niece, nephew, whatever, then they can hear your voice whenever they want and hear your special message. I can't even begin to think what my brothers and I would have done with this when we were kids. <laughs> but again, adorable, cuddly. It is. Oh, sorry. See, anytime you hug it, you're going to hear the it, message. But you know what? Here's one of the things I like about these new things is the electronics have gotten small enough so that it oh, yeah. actually is cuddly as yeah. opposed to like something yeah. like Teddy Ruxpin which was like you know cuddling up to a car mechanical. battery yeah. you know very mechanical but that's was, was that a World War II toy? no that was not a World War II toy it that was, was around when I was a child and yeah. I never had one just it was FYI 1985 Worlds of Wonder but it, but now I mean it had a big you know it had a we'll bring on classic toys sometime it had a big tape recorder inside yes, it was just a back. doll yeah. put over the tape recorder yeah. really really cuddly yeah. okay what's next who's okay, next so next we're going to do Q-Pick this is also a Hallmark one Um, that one was about 24 at Hallmark this is going to be $18 at it's Hallmark it's Q-Pig it's a Q-Pig so it's a pig that's dressed like Cupid and it Bazinga. also sings a little song the Q-Pig Shuffle Shuffle Q-Pig Shuffle Come on to the dance to the dance <laughs> It's cute <laughs> Okay, that that I really like. That I that's, no. that's adorable. Yeah. Does it stop? Um, I think you can press his hand again to make it stop. Yeah. Does it stop it? It does the whole. But wait, whole but wait. Song. It's got. Look at this little cute pig tail. That's so cute. Uh, <laughs> no, that's so cute. Why has it got a, a sash on it? Well, because does a cute pig wear a sash? Yeah. Doesn't Cupid have a sash? Oh, yes. Right. right. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Those people at Hallmark, they just think of everything, don't they? <laughs> um, that's adorable. Yeah. Wait, we gotta do more with this. Okay. So, especially if you know the original song, you're gonna think this is pretty funny. And just watching him dance like that. <laughs> I can just see this in my house. I love you, but turn it off! <laughs> make, make it stop! <laughs> it is absolutely adorable. Yeah. Absolutely adorable. Okay, we saved the best for last, we did didn't we? We saved the best for last. Okay. This is from Cuddle Barn, and its name is Romeo. 
and it is twenty nine ninety nine. So, and and does it do it's, does it do Romeo and Juliet? Oh no, it does Wherefore not do Romeo and Juliet. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Let's show you. What Deny it thy does. father and refuse thy name, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Love machine. Mm-hmm. This it's may a, be yeah. PG thirteen ish or even yeah. older. Yeah. Yeah. So. so yeah. <laughs> okay, that is hilarious. And he's got a rose on the back behind his. You know, he's. Yeah. Well, if you show up singing you. that, you better bring me a rose. <laughs> this is apparently supposed to be a chocolate box. Oh, okay. That's adorable. Actually, it's it's you know this is adult fun, right? This is yeah, kind I, of like yeah. grown up fun. Yeah, because yeah. kids are gonna be like, I don't know that song. Like, I don't get this. What's going on? Yeah, but well, yeah. I'm not I'm not exactly <laughs> sure. I want to see a four year old singing Love Machine. Love Machine. So we got some stuff to give away. We do. But because it's so close to Valentine's Day, we're not giving you Valentine's Day stuff. No, so, sorry. But we got other cool You're stuff. Meow. Kitty. Cute little dreamy eyes, Kitty. stuffed doggy. But he's got dreamy dog. eyes, like kind of, kind of like the, the yeah, lemur. They're from the same company. They're from Aurora. Kitty. C three PO earbuds. It looks and like a kitty to me. Doggy. Friends, I was, I was uh, referencing Monsters set. Inc. Yeah. 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 Kitty. Oh. Kitty. Kitty. Okay, here we go. It's oh, little ball though. Oh, this is actually really cute. This is from Clutch. This is paper yeah. purses. Paper purses. Isn't that Marie Osmond? Uh, paper roses. That I Any- no. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, my personal friend. Paper purses, really cute Disney activity. Yeah. So, really fun. And a Barbie, lovely. Barbie, the princess of the pop star. A toy. lovely princess. Princess of the pop star. She sings. And she, she's singing Girls in, Just Want to Have in Fun. the theme of all of our singing toys here. She should, she should get away. You know, she doesn't do the pop star shuffle. Okay, so... <laughs> How do people get these fabulous prizes, Lori? Go to timetoplaymag.com and click on the play date, and you'll find all the rules to enter. It's free to enter, and you have until Wednesday, February 13th at midnight Eastern time. So however you do it, however you celebrate, we hope you have a great Valentine's Day, and we've got much more stuff to show you in just a second. That's dramatic. It's the final countdown. (laughs) Well, we've got the final countdown to fun. Yeah! yeah. Okay, so, what, what's Lego doing now? They've got another storyline? I've got Ninjago, I've got I know. monsters, I've got whatever I've got to give. Can I deal with another story from Lego? I don't know. My goodness. Whoa. Wow. What? Whoa. <laughs> You're here. Take it here. I wanted to start again. No. <laughs> oh, good. Let me explain to you, Chris, what Legends of Chima is. Okay. Chima is a mythical land where human-like animals used to live in harmony. However, now they are fighting over a natural resource called chi. And chi is the source of life, and some people want to use it for evil. But the chi is also in yoga or in other spiritual practices. The chi is also your life force. So it, right. it, does, make, it does make sense. Yeah. So, so yes. There are a lot of building sets. This is just a sampling of some of the sets that we've already really gorgeous. Reviewed. I know. <laughs> lots of detail, lots of moving parts as well. Um, that is we a like giant me. one, Krager's command ship. There's a removable helicopter here in the back with the moving alligator tail. You've got removable the box boats. Down here so yeah, can... please play with it. Take it. This take it is. Just you know what? Here's here's the thing: is you you look at all of these different. Whoa pieces that Lego has developed just for this you know it's really it's really hey I have a fun fact about Lego okay in 1960 do you know who first manufactured Lego in the United States no. Samsonite the luggage people they were the first people to, to manufacture Lego in the United States really fun weird. facts to share with your family <laughs> or not or just think he's whacked this is yeah. beautiful though this I is know. beautiful look at this all of these different things the mouth and... opens up oh, I love that you can see the teeth on the inside. There's space for the minifigures. Okay, and, and you've le- got little um, jet bikes, we got- jet boats for the the lion characters. Okay, so these are the animals, lion characters. Yes. Gorgeous. They they're personal watercrafts. They're personal yes, watercrafts. Exactly. Or sea doos or things like that. <laughs> this is cool. This is yeah. very cool. So what other what other sets are in there? All right. Well, you've got um, Eris's eagle interceptor. That's this vehicle right here. <laughs> 
Now, but wait a minute. You know, just this one's seventy nine ninety nine. Oh yes. Oops. So Oops. it's seventy nine ninety nine, and it took us a while. Yeah. It took us a while to put together, but I love the color just and all the I different pieces. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then this one is uh, thirty four ninety nine. And again, lots of moving pieces. The cockpit opens. You can uh, move the talons. So you can pretend to like grab things, which is very cool. The wings all move, or the, the, the feathers on the wings. Whoa, flying. And this, really? this blue thing right here is the chi, in case you didn't know. That's what everybody is after, those so, little blue pieces. Thank you. I've got the chi. Oh, me. You have reached, reached your zen. <laughs> I've reached my zen. So you, you get the cheap. But now, are there webisodes and other things that go along um, and online there, stuff to, to get us into the story? Because that's something that Lego's done. I believe there's going to be a show, much okay. like Ninjago. Yeah, because yeah. they've done a great job with that. Because, you know, we know kids who are so into the story of Ninjago yeah. as well. So. Well, and there are also game type, game type building sets. So this one over here is the Chi Waterfall set. And is you, this you Chi set too? This up. That is a Chi Orb. Ooh. And you set it up Give and you have to launch orb. this speed orb at the target to knock it off. And the first player to grab it gets to take a card. Um, there's a card game that goes along with it and you score points and earn chi. Um, so there's a lot of different ways to play, just regular building sets and then more game type building sets oh. as well. With card games. So yeah. this has a little this has a little rip cord. Yes. Like, it like goes the through, famous through here. Right. So I'll let you Okay. Exactly. That was the first toy. The SSP Racers from Kenner oh. was the first toy to uh, oh, to uh, introduce the ripcord, which is now common in yeah. other things. Yeah. This and Beyblade and things like that. Yeah, the SSP Racers. They were yeah. part of my childhood. Um, back in the Stone Age. Back in the Stone Age. Yes, exactly. Thank you so much. You know what the thing about SSP Racers, though, I noticed you can't do this with, though? Yeah, with the SSP racers, if you really ripped it and you put mm -hmm. your finger on it, it would burn your skin. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. can't yes. do that anymore. <laughs> They've taken all the fun out of it. No, I'm kidding. Okay, so. Um, the last set we have is the Razor's Chi Raider. Um, this, again, lots of cool moving parts. The wings move. You can open this cockpit, although his wings are a little too big. He's too big for the cockpit. Sorry, guy. Uh, this is for the, the Eagle Tribe. Um, uh, yeah. They are very cool. Again, the feet move. I'm really loving like, all the colors amazing. and the different stuff. It's yes. really, different really, types really of bright. And you know, and this is missiles. this is this is a, a different kind of the Lego kid. This is the kind of Lego kid who loves building models and bringing yes. together stories. Separate from the kids who like the, either the the mind storms or the just the open ended play. This is really a very specific. If you're into the story, you are gonna love doing this. This yes. is really kind of cool. Love this. Uh, awesome. So. Okay, but so how do you clean up? I was gonna ask you that. You got all these Lego pieces to, to clean up. So, okay, this thing is break outrageous. Out my toy dozer. This is our toy dozer. Go ahead, toy <laughs> it's dozer. Two pieces, and basically, it's designed to make cleaning up fun and a little bit faster for your kids. So you just put this down. Clean on the ground, up, clean up. Scoop up your toys in here, and then you just dump them into. If you have a plastic bin or a box or whatever, wherever the toys go, you just. Right that in. would work really well with like crayons or oh, Hot yeah. Wheels yeah. or, or any of those are, little are anything apart. with little pieces and yeah. you spread it out all over Cheerios. the place. Yeah. What? Pardon me? Cheerios. 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 It could work with Cheerios course, as well. Of course. Um, this is nineteen ninety nine. Yes, it comes in different colors. It's from awesome. March five. What? Uh, Twenty bucks. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Bazinga! All right, because, but, oh, because look why. at the fine design that captures the the toys in there. And this piece has some Velcro on the back. You just stick it on here, so both pieces store very That's easily together. I, I, can t I can tell that, that they are not as entranced with this as we are. I think this is a really handy item, so yeah. it's really kind of cool. So, yeah. all right. A toy vacuum too. Okay. There is not a toy vacuum. So, I let's let's ya. bring up another favorite character. Okay. The Batman. This is oh, so nice cute. So okay. So cute. More Batman stuff. You know, Fisher Price with their Imaginex and their all their other stuff. They've done a really amazing job with all the different Batman stuff. Um, tell us about this garage. This is first this of all, is... got a handle. Got to love the handle. <laughs> this is the little people. Wheelies, DC Super Friends, Race and Chase, Batcave. So you have a little Joker, little people wheelies guy, and a little Batman, oh, little Batman. people wheelies. And I'm gonna put the Joker up here on this orange ramp, okay? Because he's lying in wait for Batman? He is. Oh, so I, Batman. that's dangerous. Wait, wait, okay. Batman comes up the elevator. 
kid powers. He has all the coolest stuff. Batman. I know. And then we're gonna send him down this ramp and keep an eye on these purple boulders because. Oh wait, there's a boulder, boulder after him! Oh and my the goodness! Goes after him too. Oh, wow. you could just wow. keep doing this over and over and over again. Like that's literally all I wanted to do. Was like, this is so cool. Uh, I, I love how these things magically appear back on the table again. <laughs> you know, this is. I mean, this is great for Batman. Like, don't yeah. be surprised if your kid wants to take this along when you're going going oh, yeah. somewhere. These are really, really cute. They'll work with other wheelies things mm -hmm. too. You can you can have a whole thing. The other thing I like about this is it teaches kids, especially at this age, you know, that when the, when he goes around there, they don't see him anymore. But it teaches them object permanence because you can see sure. on the background they they see they understand that something's there even if it is there, which is just mm -hmm. that and the fine motor skills. So this is yes. a great way to get story involved with this. It's really kind of cool. We really like it's this. So, cute. so so this is about thirty dollars and it's for kids one and a half uh, and up, yeah, eighteen months and up. Okay. Move this away because our girls are back. The girls are back. Let's see if I can bring them in here. Monster high. Let's get Batman out of the way. Do, 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 do. Here they come. Walking down the street. Okay, now. They are all. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Monster high. We're roller, it's not really roller derby, I guess. It's more like action-packed roller skating. Well, it's actually roller derby because if you it play is, the okay. game, this is this is the game, the Skultimate Roller Maze yes. game. It's this is a game. new video game that is coming out. And the, the girls, they, they it's racing and chasing through okay. different different countries. They go to Scaris, which is of there, course. which is Paris. Um, they, they, you know, they go around. But here's okay. the thing. We've got all of the, the dolls here. We've got Laguna, Laguna Blue. Blue. We, Operetta. Operetta. Our hands are Frankie right. Stein. Abby Bobbable. Abby Bobbable. And Claudine Wolf. And Claudine Wolf. And they're all dressed up in their roller outfits. That's right. The other thing about these is, and I'm, as Video Boy will tell you, I'm really bad at this. So Look, was I, don't they, worry. They have, they have skates. Their skates really roll, is which, is, awesome? which is kind of... <laughs> Did it. But really, again, you know, really, really collectible. They're only they're only about twelve ninety nine, right? They're, um, no, they're they're about ten dollars. They're about ten dollars. Yeah, so they're cheaper than Ooh, that. they're they're less less yes. expensive than that. Uh, beautiful <laughs> but design. I know great detail on pretty much everything, from the skates to the helmets and their their dresses. Knee pads, knee pads knee skull, pads knee pads. Well. They're all about safety. But they don't have wrist pads. We were talking we were talking pads. about that the other day. That that because I mean, give you a rollerbladed. Um, no, because I couldn't, but I have broken my wrist ice skating and sprained it roller skating. And after that, I wore wrist pads. Well, yeah, because I <laughs> mean, because Video Boy and I were talking about this. You have these these, these things you put on your hand yeah. when you're looking, and they had plastic right here. So when you went face yeah. forward like I did <laughs> most of the time, which is why I don't rollerblade anymore. Um, anyway, but these are beautiful. And this is really sort of between that play doll and collectible yeah. area. Yeah. So for if you love the game... And there's going to be there's stuff online where you can go to monsterhigh.com and learn all about this. So it's really kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, and they're about ten bucks. So let's give away some stuff. Okay. This Incoming. Is coming to me, some little people Disney princess characters, Rapunzel and Tiana. Uh, Super th cute. This is a cut the rope activity game from Mattel. So if you have cut the rope, it'll open up uh, on your on your, on your iPad, iPad or you know. Does it come with an iPad? It does no. not come with an iPad, so stand by. We're trying to get one to give away, but not yet. Uh, okay, what else? <laughs> Win. Bring out the toy dozer! Okay. okay, this is the Ravensburger thousand-piece puzzle. Really great, really great. Uh, it uses the, augmented reality, right? It's augmented reality. You can download an app that will actually unlock video animations when you do that. Okay, okay. try this Hold one on again. IPhone. This one's lighter. Okay. It's Abby Bobbable, but I can't read any of the words on here, Chris. This Why is, is that? This is the French version of Abby Bonbonable. So Wee. whoever gets this may want to want to you know keep it as a collectible yeah. because on the on the back it is all all in French. It's all in French. She is La I don't know how to speak. Je m'appelle Claude. Right. Uh, Découvre les lettres sont effroyablement branchées des monstres les plus célèbres du monde. Merci. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, I mean, this is, they didn't make that many of these, so this is kind of a, a cool collectible. Yeah, so you can sell it on eBay to see if somebody wants it. And we've also got... What Walrus are they? sleds. Okay, you, this is the child size, and that's the adult size. 
So what do you do with it? You connect these together so that you can create a Ooh, train, train and slide down a hill together. Oh, wow. Pretty awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. These so. These are really lightweight too for carrying back up the hill. This is this is kind of this is kind of cool. This is like you know we used to we used to like you know get a cardboard box because we couldn't afford a sled. So but anyhow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and I walked twenty miles to school in the snow, so I didn't want to be on a sled. No, I'm kidding. We lived on the campus. Okay. Uh, how do we get this? Go to timetoplaymag.com and click on the play date. You'll find all the rules to enter. It's free to enter, and you have until Wednesday, February thirteenth at midnight Eastern time. And next week on the play date, another very special episode. It's a very special play date. We're going to Toy Fair. We're going to take right. you backstage at Toy Fair, and we'll have a lot of great loot to give away. Come visit us anytime at timetoplaymag.com, where we got more loot to give away. And keep playing. Have a great week. <laughs>